And hello again, Internet. Now, here we are with day two of Catacomb Adventures. We're going to be looking at Catacomb Armageddon today. This was the first of the ones that you had to pay for after playing Abyss, the shareware episode. And, well, if you liked the Abyss, this is... This, well, that was the enticement to get this, so we're going to see if it was worth buying. Now, this game was also later released as Curse of the Catacombs, but its original packaging was part of this Catacomb Adventure set. Again, this one is not done by the people who became id Software. This is actually done by people who ended up doing Blake Stone and such, and we did see in the previous episode that there was some interesting features done. There was an, I loved the workaround of the water level, how they managed to get that to work, even though, you know, they, it was just a basic level like any of the others. They just used graphics tricks to make it look like you were wading hip deep in water, knee deep in water, and it looked good. It worked. I like things like that. Another thing we noticed was how little actual... Um, here we are. Well, we're going to do Warrior again because these things are so freaking easy. And again, we're going to have to immediately set up to we have sound. You stand before the gate leading to the town, again with an E, of Morbidity. What a wonderful town name. Where do you live? I live in Morbidity. Well, I guess it's better than living in the state of denial. <laughs> anyway. Enter now boldly to defeat the evil nemesis deep inside the catacombs. Again, nemesis. How many times are we going to kill this guy? This is our third encounter with the guy. Da -da -da. We'll go in. You enter a new area. Now, as you see, we got a different face here, different color for the character. And uh, the town of morbidity. The first thing we're going to do is get our sound going. And let's test. Yep, we got sound. Oh, we got a little bit different graphic for the fireball this time, too. Not very different, but still a little bit different. So let's take a look. All right, we got some demonic symbols going on, or satanic symbols. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go forward. You need a green key. Um... Cold breeze. You need a yellow key. Oh, lovely. We have to hit it. secret walls just to start. Oh, what do we need? We need a red key. <sighs> Gotta be freaking kidding me. So we just started. This door is permanently blocked. So how did I get through it? Would well, they block it behind me and they're back there celebrating? Yay, she's gone. She's gone. I mean, look at this. Already, I need keys. Oh, what do we have? Oh, there we go. A key! Dun, da, da, da. Another key. More keys! Now, let's go through the red door. I think it was, was this yellow, red or yellow? That was the red door. And I want to paint it black. All right, what do we got? Zomblers! And hey, you notice we got new graphics in this episode, too. So, that's something, at least. What is this? Ah, yellow key. Good. I'm going the right way. I, oh, treasure chest. See, new graphics for the treasure chest. New new everything. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not unhappy with this game at the moment. I mean, it's the same as the previous game. And while I wasn't particularly happy with that game, it's not the worst game that I have ever played. Oh, hello there. Hi. I do like the fact that they actually did change... Oh, God! What is that? It's a bug. Oh, did it just crawl into the wall? So we got some new enemies. Oh, no, it didn't crawl into the wall again. Oh, God! There's another one back there. So it didn't crawl into the wall. It crawled into the gap there. But, uh, new enemies, new graphics... Again, they're using the 16-bit uh, colors. What is this? Oh, it's an egg. Wait a second. Are those things are those things still alive? They're twitching. Oh, they better not get back up.
Okay, green key get. Freaking enemy's corpse is still twitching. That, that's that's a thing. It's the Chamber of Secrets! Haha, -ha, Harry Potter, eat your heart out. But yeah, I mean, it's... And a blue key. And a gym. Right off the bat, we're getting one of the gyms. Chaos Emerald. Do, do, do. Purple. That was one that I was missing last time. Then again, with everything being different colors now, who knows what I'm going to be getting this time. Okay. Was that not where I'm supposed to go? Am I lost already? I think I'm lost already. I thought this is where I came from, right here. But it seems to have changed on me. Oh, there! Okay. Yeah, there we go. I made it out. Hey, I'm back to the beginning! I did a thing! I do have a key, so let's save the game. And it's actually not uncommon back with the early episodes of the Days of Shareware for you to have the games seem to be like different games entirely. For example, uh, Commander Keen. You sit there and you think that, okay, well, this Commander Keen game is, you know, like episode one. But no, no, they called it Commander Keen 4, and then you had to buy 5 and 6. Like, there is no actual paid version of 4. It is the shareware version, and 5 and 6, they're all considered one game, basically, even though they're all labeled separate games. So, that was a thing that they did. I don't know why they did that. There's much better stuff like Doom, where... Okay, well, you know what? I'm pr Oh, wait, I have a blue key. Let's go find out if that other door was a blue door. Did you need the blue key? No, nope, I need a yellow key to get in there. Well, I don't have a yellow key, because I used the yellow key. Well, I guess that's it. I guess I go through here. I screwed something up. I don't care. I'm not... I need a, I need a red key. Whoa, okay. What? So, I have a blue key. And there are doors that need yellow and red. But all I have is the blue key. I don't see any other doors. I see twitching bug bodies. That's really disturbing. Oh, I just noticed the lightning effect going on up there. Well, I guess that's better than just a straight color. I did notice that in the previous game, it did turn from day to night on that first map. And that was actually really cool. Oh, right. These are blocks. That's why it has it twice, because that's a block. I keep forgetting that. Alright, did I screw this game up already? I mean, was I not supposed to go this way first? Because the other thing needed a yellow key. And I mean, I needed a yellow key to get in here. I really hope that did not screw things up by taking the red door first. Because you go in the red door, and then you use the yellow key, but on the other side is a yellow door. Was I supposed to go that side first and get another yellow key behind it, and now I'm screwed because I can't do that? That would be really, really bad map design if that's the case. Because that lets the player get into a situation where they cannot advance. All because I took the wrong door. I'm not saying that that's what happened, but... I'm saying it's a possibility, given the fact that there's literally nowhere else for me to go. And I've already saved, so I would literally have to restart the entire game at this point, if that's the case. Well, you know what? I'm going to save again. <laughs> name rat. Nam rat. I can't, I can't even type my own name today. Yes. Now... New game. 
Okay, let's actually go in the yellow one first this time. And see if that was the thing. So I used the yellow key. And there's the yellow key. Okay, well, right off the bat, that's a big no-no. That is something you should not do. You shouldn't basically tell the player, oh, you went the wrong way at the beginning. Too bad. I need the blue key there. Yeah, that's what happened. That is it. The yellow key was hidden behind the yellow door. So because I opened the other yellow door first, I could not advance. Don't do that to your players. I mean, you can do it for secret stuff, but don't do that for something that requires them to go forward. I mean, you can have as many, like, yellow doors hiding behind, hiding yellow keys as you want, as long as they're all optional. You know, like that Hall of Green, back in uh, the original Catacomb 3D, how it had that Hall of Green doors. That's fine. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Because those are all optional. And there is eventually one door that's proper. Oh, come on, really? I blew up the treasure chest because my shot went through the ant. Through the ant egg, so I lost my treasure chest. I should have been able to blow up the ant egg. So yeah, I'm not particularly happy with this version of the game already. The first level has done something I consider to be a giant no in video games. It is a progression stopper. And that's not something you should do to your player. So basically, I'm going to have to make a save at the beginning of every level just to make sure that doesn't happen again. some new enemies. That's good. Something different. Something exciting. You see? It shoots right through the egg. So these things are invincible while they're in the egg. You have to wait till they wake up, then you can shoot them. Okay, now I have another key. Right, I needed this key to go through the door. Just remember, you should have been able to go through either of the doors to get to continue. That's the that's the important thing. Where, where's my exit? There it is. And now we can get through this. Um. 
And again, the ants don't actually show up on the map down there, on the radar. Lots of corpses. Man, first level and I've already been put off from this game. Makes me unhappy. I will have a different name for the ones... Okay, see, use the red key. New map every time I start a new map. And any mid-level saves will be my name. Okay, this should be blocked off. Yeah, no going back in these games either. So, whoa, hello. Ah, it's a tree. Trance. Beware of the trees. I keep telling people to... Hello. To watch out for trees. Are, are you just going to sit there and do that forever now? Is that your corpse? I'm going to sit here and watch it a little bit and make sure. Is it on more fire yet? I can still shoot it. Is it still... Oh my god, I, deal, I take damage walking through the tree corpse because it's on fire. They're doing new things with this game. They're just not good new things. That's not a tree corpse they're attacking. Hello. I mean, I like this, you know, tree. Oh, God, now it's attacking me. Now, you're going to attack me at some point. See, there it goes. Now you woke up. I can't shoot it until it wakes up. That is so dumb. You can't get rid of them. They just sit there and burn in your path. So we got some automatic damage in this one now. God. This game is taking away a lot of the, of the praise that I might have had for the previous one. Oh, ow. Well, at least I got a freaking... I got another gem already. There's a forest exit. Okay, now you... If you've been paying attention, the walls that I've been able to blow up, at least that one, had a different graphic to them. And I'm going to take some damage running through that. It's like there. The eyes. Those have been the ones I've been able to blow up. So new graphics for bats. We have new enemy types that are, unfortunately, in my opinion, not well done. The whole leaving a burning corpse thing is kind of awful. Probably should have just left this map at this point. Because there was the, quote, forest exit. You know what? Why don't I just do that? Why don't I just get out of here? I don't need to deal with this. I'm not here to look for secrets. I'm really not. And yet, here I am, continuing to play. Ah! Friggin'. Oh, you did a lot of damage to me, too. Good lord! Not happy! Not happy! Oh, 
Okay. More stuff to kill. Now that I know to look for those eyeball walls, I'm going to end up with lots of secrets. That yeah, one of them's alive and attacking me. Between being attacked and burning, these things are actually really annoying. These are some of the more annoying enemies I've seen in any of these games so far. And the thing is, I can't shoot through them when they're burning either. So if they block a passageway that you need to shoot to get through, you can't. So again, those enemies can become progression stoppers. I need a green key, so I can't get out anyway yet. <laughs> Hello, Sawsmith. Yes, we didn't start the fire. Well, actually, kind of I did. Mm. Grabbing my drink there. Spilling it on my shirt like an idiot. <sighs> what? Yeah. Yeah. How about you? If I shoot you, will you wake up? No? Okay. Oh, now you wake up! Make up your mind! Okay, that does not look like a friendly place. Tahiti, this ain't. Ah, but I see that wall back there. Boom. Get away. No! Oh, okay, yo, waha. Did not expect that one right there. Unfor ah. See, here I am trying to deal with the ones that I see. And then someone pops alive and kills me anyway. Ah, ah, one's alive. It's alive. It's moving. There, you see what I mean? Turn my back on you for... J Ow, I'm in the fire. Ow, I'm in more fire. What's going on? I, I know nothing. Ah! Where? Which one were you? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, he's a freaking heck. Just keep popping up. They won't go away. I think they're only popping up one at a time also. That's, that's fun. That, that's nice. Whole freaking forest fire out here. Oh my god, I've gone to Canada! Or Montana. Key! I can get out of here now. Okay, let's try to worm my way back out through the blaze. Ah, yeah. This way? Yeah, this way. Okay. Yes, let's get out of here. Green key. Entering a new area. Should also start saving before the end of the map as well. Okay, Garden of Forgotten Souls. And apparently it's daytime now. We've been walking for a while. Alrighty then. I'm not seeing this whole, this one takes place in current, you know, not exactly current year, but more modern times than the previous game. I mean, we do have a different character and all that, but we're fighting zombies and ants and... And these walls don't have any difference in them. 
Look. Does this wall look any different than this wall? No. And I can't shoot those anyway, so that just proved that point. And it's there. There you go. Well, I guess that one actually looked a little bit broken. Hello, I see this. Oh, rabbits! No! All right, somebody was a fan of Monty Python. How does your garden girl grow with blood and guts? And I can't shoot the rabbits when they're small. Like all the other enemies in this, I can only shoot it when it wakes up. Yeah, tricks are for kids. Indeed, Sussmith, indeed. Oh, hello. Hey, a gym. I still have no idea what happens when you get all five of those Chaos Emeralds, but we shall see. We shall see. Hello, bats. Guano-laden pathways. So we are in bat shit hall. Yeah, so these things actually are different. You can see that this is a broken down wall versus a non-broken down wall. It's hard to tell the difference, but they are different. So my earlier complaint is again null and void, and at least these secret passages look like they have an appearance that ow, you can shoot at. It tells you, shoot here! Doesn't always work, but... Kill the wabbit! Kill the wabbit! Kill the wabbit! All these years, Elmer Fudd was right. I used a yellow key. Yes, exactly that, Sassmith. Hello there! That's an unexpected... feature of the map. Oh, God. Zombies! Rabbits everywhere! Oh, it's a lot of zombies and rabbits! It's a lot of zombies and rabbits! Holy crap! I think that is the first time this game series has really tried to overwhelm me so early. I approve. It's a lot better than doing it late game with those stupid overpowered enemies. I have a feeling this Garden Keeper is dead. Or evil. I mean... Oh boy. Either the Garden Keeper is the reason these rabbits are attacking and why all these zombies are coming up, or they've killed him. We shall see. Yeah, exactly. Where is the holy hand grenade? Alright, well, uh, let's see if anyone's home. Okay, he's the, re he's the reason for it, obviously. Got a picture of Nemesis on his wall. 
probably signed even. <laughs> eBay. I'm actually gonna save the game again here. And immediately into the cultists. This game is not taking its time. Three. Three yellow keys. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Cultists and zombies and bunnies. Oh, my. Again, just a lot of enemies on this map. Alright, are we going on to the next one now? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So I enter a new area. Lost City of the Damned. And we got Skeleton Warriors again. Skeleton Warrior! New graphics for him, though. I have nothing against changing the graphics with the, uh, ex with the next episode of the game. That's, that's actually kind of cool. It keeps things a little bit fresh, even though it is the same enemies. In this case, anyway. A lot of the enemies have changed a bit. But yeah, just... Good way to differentiate between the games. I wonder if those cheat codes still work. That'd be silly for them to give you cheat codes in the shareware version. That work in the full. I'm not going to test them. I don't... Don't, shouldn't need them. Hey! Man, we are really picking these things up quickly. In fact, we've got four of them already. That worries me. Also, these must be Jamaican skeletons. No, that's good. We don't see a lot of cultural diversity in the skeletons. Um. Do not want. Usually, it's not oh, okay. There we go. So it's, it's usually not the Medusas that are stone. It's usually other things that are turned to stone by the Medusa. See, this game in particular is wasting a lot of time with the whole, I'm going to have the enemy stand here and not activate. And you can't do anything about it until it's activated. And to be honest, I would not be surprised if the zombies have been like that the entire time. You just couldn't see them because they were on the floor, and their activation animation is crawling up out of the floor. But it works for that. It works for the zombies, no problem, because you can't see them ahead of time. Yeah, they're weeping angels. You look away, they attack. Oh, that's a that's terrifying idea. I don't want... Actually, I would like I would like to see a Doctor Who game like that, to be honest. Not in this, though. Mm. Promenade of the Damned! This is where you get the dance magic. Dance magic, dance magic. This is a pathetically weak, also. 
Like, seriously, these Medusas look like they should take considerably more damage than that. These skeletons take way more damage than the Medusa does. Alright, not so much Medusa as Gorgon, whatever, whatever. Actually, it's kind of a bit of a... Uh, Merolith almost, with the multiple arms. I saw you! I can see you on the freaking radar. Come on. Come on, don't do this. No, I don't look like there's anything behind you to blow up anyway. There we go. Keys! Again, behind hidden passages. But the hidden passages aren't as hidden in this game, so uh, you know, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. So at this point, these are less hidden passages and more just creative doors. Again, this is more RPG based than real first person shooter because, well, we didn't have first person shooters back then. And hidden passages are part and parcel of RPGs, which is why I didn't com I didn't have as much problem with it in the uh, descent to Undermountain, the Thieves Guild section. The Thieves' Guild's gonna have secret doors to get through it. It's the whole freaking point of the Thieves' Guild. So as much as I usually dislike that, thematically, nah, that was totally fine. It worked there. It was... And if something is thematic, then fine. If there's an actual reason for it, do it. That's almost always acceptable in games. If there's a good thematic reason for something, then yeah, sure, do it. Almost. There are cases where even thematic reasons, it's like, no, that that's going to break the game, don't do it. You know, like, if you ever go left instead of right, you, you game over. No, no, don't, don't punish people. Well, actually, if it's something like that and it's described and you do it, then sure. Okay, I got two yellow keys. Let's get out of here. But something that, like, is a game ender, mm, I worry about those. So, save the game here in front of the Promenade of the Damned. It's like, this game really loves to give me zappers, too. Look at how many zappers I have. It's the inner passage of doom now. Well, that was beneficial. Notice that we still get some seam problems. Look at that. We're still getting seam problems in a game made up entirely of cubes. Now, did I just screw myself by going this way right now? Because... Oh, okay. Okay. Hello, hello. No, oh, I found the party. Oh boy, did we find the party. That was quite a party. So far, so good, though. 
Lots of skeletons. Ah, looks like I have to go to the Temple of Vipers next. Any of these walls explode? No, let's get out of here. Temple of Vipers. Used the red key. You've entered a new area. That's a temple. All right. Oh no, I just I just like ah something's moving, shoot it. Okay, I'll just shoot the freaking nuke. Fine. Great. Oh, I was kind of hoping you could read those. Like the previous game had the uh Oh, hello. Hello. Don't get that close. You look hideous up close. Alright, let's try the left door first and see if it screws me. Astral projection room. Which I suppose is better than the asshole projection room. Which is actually what it kind of looks like. Hello! Man, these guys are so friendly. Just look at how eager they are to see you. Altar of Sacrilege. I am... Well, I'm enjoying some stuff in this game. It's not the worst game I've ever played. Okay, can I get through this door? Red, I need a red key to get through that door. So no, no I can't. Can I do anything over here? No, I can't. Well, that was the first astral projection room. So let's go to the second asshole projection room. No, this is the long hall of truth. World of nope. Wait, is this up behind me? Wait, am I not where I want to be? Yikes. See, I thought I was there, so I was trying to back out of it and uh, did not back out. Instead, ended up getting smacked around by several of them. Yep, here's the second asshole projection room. Take a look at that asshole projection. Hall of Imminent Dread! God, I love these names. They're so dumb. It's like, this is stuff that you would see in a middle schooler's notebook. Right next to that stupid S. I'm surrounded by assholes. Indeed. Chamber of unspeakable terror. Look, I know you're there. I know you're going to pop out. Quit stalling and do it already. The unspeakable terrors, the existential dread of knowing that those things are enemies and not being able to do anything about it. Fine. Now come at me. Whoa, hello. No, not you. I'm dealing with... There, you see? One of them... There, they popped up. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> mm, pardon me. In the third asshole projection room. Yeah, that was that was fun. Okay, so I now have two red keys. Hopefully that means I can get out of here. There you are. Or not. Ah, that's not what I expected to find. It's not at all what I expected to find. But I'll take it. This one. There we go. There we go. Wait, now what? Alright, the red door is right here. Okay. Used a red key. Get out of in front of the door so I can actually get through it. Come on. Move already. See, I can't get past you. Door is right there. Oh my god, this is why I don't like these things. Wake up and let me kill you. I can't get past her because she's a solid object that's not awake. There you go. Thank you for wasting my time. Man, that almost looks like those one-armed bandits seen in a uh, whoops, new map. In uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. But you can kind of see the programming tricks they're using in this now, thanks to this one. You can see how they have the enemies that just don't activate right away. Like there. That's what the skeletons look like before they're activated. And you can't shoot them until they activate. You can't shoot any of the enemies in this game until they activate. So... You guys gonna do anything? There we go. This I don't like. That I really don't like. That's... Mm, the enemies should be active. They, they should activate a lot faster than that. We shouldn't have a standby mode for these things. Or if we are, that's that right there is perfect. And it's now right on top of me. Yeah. Oh, I see. These guys are being hung and tortured. See, he's hanging from the wall or hanging from the ceiling there. Because skeletons can totally hang by their neck and not fall apart. Bones hold themselves together. Don't you know that? Who needs ligaments and muscles? Besides, they have hair. They don't have a scalp, but they have hair.
Remember, you were supposed to pay for this game back in the day. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but it's not particularly impressive to me at the moment. An empty cell. This is not empty. There is a skeleton. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, God! Empty my ass! Holy crap! There's a room full of death in there. Oh! Ah! I was pounding the put the um potion button there and missed. Did I save at all? No, I did not. Ah, <sighs> uh, it was my fault. Here we go again. Let's wait for these guys to activate. Should really learn to save more often. See, that I like. The one that's hanging on the wall and then jumps off, that is cool. These ones that are just hanging in the middle of the room, that's annoying. I mean, I like that they're trying new stuff, but these uh, attempts have been failing. I've been not impressed. Started typing too early on that one. Okay, let's go back to that empty room. This completely normal empty room. Nothing wrong. It's just an empty cell. Nothing to see here, just an empty cell. Block the door so they don't actually get past me this time. There we go. I got him. So that was the empty cell. This game really loves to give you zappers. I'm already almost full on zappers. Then again, I've been playing for an hour now, so... You know, they weren't kidding about the Viper Stronghold there. And like the previous games, just pounding the attack key is more than enough to... Oopsie. Whoa, that was my bad. It's more than enough to handle anything that comes my way. Well, I used the key to get in here. So... Um, did I just mess myself up again? Because none of the walls are breaking. Ah, oh, there we go.
you gotta worry about things like that after the first level in this game. We are in these snake-like passages. There we go. Is this going to be the exit, please? I need a yellow key. Okay, well, hopefully there will be one that doesn't behind another yellow door. Because these little small passages are hard to see. See, these things, they're not scary. They're, they're just time wasters at this point. Because I'm just going to wait for them to pop up and then kill them. There's no reason to do anything else with them. All right. Well, I am apparently missing a yellow key, so where, oh where, could that yellow key be? Where, oh where, can the yellow key be? Oh where, oh where has it gone? It, that's it, that's everything. I've been in every room in this place. Unless it's in here and I missed something. It's always possible that I've missed something. In fact, it's likely that I've missed something. In fact, I, I would say it's a guarantee that I've missed something, given the fact that I cannot advance. The question is, where is what I missed? So it's not here. I don't think there's anything in there because I've shot it all to heck. Nothing here. This is the place that looks like it should have it, given what happened in here. But again, I see nothing. So we're doing this again, are we? It's like that door's permanently blocked, so I can't go back out. Yeah, we're doing this again. Go around every single wall shooting it. This is a fun video game. You know, if I had some kind of map feature, which I don't, but if I did, it would make this so much easier.
And it's not like a map feature is difficult in a game like this. You can... There we go! You can literally use the same graphics for the tiles. It's already in a grid! And you've already got the map! You just display it in a different way! Hidden Passage of Hope. What were they hoping for? Hi, Z! Glad you finally decided to watch a scrappy game again. It's been kind of bad. This one's worse than the previous one. There's the yellow key I've been looking for. Now you see, he's going to pop up and start chasing me, but I don't even care. I'm going to be so far away from this guy now that he's never going to be able to attack me. Nah, the fire's still, huh? Well, I'm sorry to hear you're getting so bothered by him. I'm sorry to hear that they're existing. No. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to have the fires and have you in pain. All right. There we go. Let's actually save it here in case the game breaks. Because it might. So we're in the demon's hold now. Now we got something more modern. And a two-headed demon, interesting. See, there we go. Now we're out of the stuff we were in before. Need a blue key. Need a green key. Um, okay. Do I have to run through this myself? Yes, I do. So, I have to take that automatic damage of running through that. I hate automatic damage. I don't think I can even shoot through this to get the guys, can I? No. I can't shoot through that to hit those guys. So I just have to walk through the damage and then take more damage. I do not like this map design. Okay, hi there. Okay, that was a weird death animation. I can't actually attack these guys so fast that they can't hit me. These guys can get through it, so I'm hoping I don't have a whole bunch of these to deal with. What am I saying? This, this, this floor is these things. Great. So I'm going to be using up my potions in this area. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, 
yeah, this 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 particular version has different. I don't like it. Oh, Jesus, Louise. I like the fact that they can't walk through the freaking chests either. So they won't come at me until I grab the treasure. The hell are you? There you are. Oh crap, open another wall. That's not what I want to do. And now you see why I didn't want to do that. Yay, we're back to the bullet sponges. Like, give me the health. I'm going to be burning through health potions. So that's what I need in this place. Wow. Wow, really? 40 damage? You did 40 damage. See, I really don't like that. Automatic damage, I can't avoid it, just straight up dead. And a lot of damage, too. Remember, I can't shoot these things from outside, either. Because I can't shoot through those walls. I'm pretty sure I... Shooting these walls... Okay, you can break the walls. Good to know. Oops. Because I was shooting at these walls earlier to try to kill the thing on the other side, and it didn't break. I must have been like one shot away from being able to kill it. The wall. Alright, well that's at least a little bit better.
There's the key. Finally. Literally the last secret area of the last cell finally has the key. <sighs> Not enjoying this part of the game. Oh! Is that like has been having a good time with his XCOM game then? Killing Chosen, farming them for AP, which, yeah, beautiful thing to do. Better game than this one, that's for sure. Ah, so you're getting ready to beat the War of the Chosen. Good luck, man. My time has been spent on, at least outside of this stuff, other than running around, finally getting a chance to actually re relax today, not run errands all day long. So I'm looking forward to playing some more Mega Dimension Neptunia. Alright, permanently blocked. That's not the way to go. Oh look! More of the same! Now I need to find the yellow key inside one of the hidden passages of one of these cells that's full of button mashing bullet sponges button masher bullet sponges This is fine. What every video game should be. <sighs> yeah, these things have two heads. I don't know why. Because two heads are definitely not better than one in this case. So I'm looking for a key, and instead I find a door. That's fun. What key do you need? Red. This is actually hurting my hands, pounding the buttons for these. Ugh. I'm sure I could use the zappers. I've got plenty of them, but... Honestly, the zappers just not really as good anyway. So there's a... Yellow? What needed yellow? I needed what? Blue and red. Was this yellow? Oh, it was yellow. Okay, I thought it needed blue. There's the red key. What a surprise. Wow, I totally did not see that coming. I 
that guy! Push the button and it didn't didn't go. Yeah, really not liking this part. Please tell me that's the end of these enemies. I don't want to face these anymore. These are nothing but a waste of time. Bullet sponges. They're not fun. They're not difficult. They're just annoying. This level is not fun and amusing. Okay, well, I have all five crystals. I don't know what that means, but I've got all five crystals now. And now you got to go down to an ant colony. That's... You know, I'm not even going to question it. But hey, I got all five crystals. I don't know what that means, but I have all five crystals. And again, you can't shoot the eggs. You have to wait till they come out. Yeah, hell to the queen, baby. Indeed. At least this, this is going to be a different environment. That's going to be pretty cool. So this I approve of. This is actually creative for this, you know... How was I attacking this one? So this level has the potential to be something cool. We'll see what they do with it. And at least these things are not as bad at as bullet sponges as those other enemies were. Okay. I guess we got bullet sponges now, anyway. Oh my god, what is that? What the hell? It exploded? Okay. We now have combustible enemies, it seems. Whoa, that's new. What's in here? A green key I need. So what does having all five crystals... Oops. What does having all five crystals do for me? Is it going to give me a special ending? Because I don't seem to have any new powers involved with having more crystals. I don't think I'm invincible. It would be great if I was. Okay, I'm, I'm going in circles now. Where's the way out? I want out. Where's the way out? There we go. There we go. There we go.
Seriously, what the hell are those things? They do explode. Do they hurt you when they explode? I don't want to be close enough to find out. whole lot of places to go but I'm not seeing things oh yeah there's a key that's progress fortunately the ants really don't do much damage and they're easier to kill so I don't know why we have these after the bullet sponges but I'm just glad we don't have bullet sponges anymore. Hello! I may have spoken too soon. I'm being eaten alive by giant fire ants. So that happened. Okay, all I have left is health potions that I need. I've maxed out the other two again. <laughs> if it was Fallout, they'd be flaming and shooting fire. That's true. Do these things hurt you? Didn't seem to. I had to test. That is one of the few things Fallout 3 did well. It was Fallout 3 that had fire ants, wasn't it? Because if it was New Vegas, hell with Fallout 3. I actually like this level. I, I find the enemies in here appropriate. I find the level itself to be interesting. This is a pretty good... This is a good level. I like this level. It's different. It's creative. Let's get the hell out of here. I do believe the northern tunnels were where the key was, or where the door was. And I do have the key now. Although I love the fact that there's doors that require keys down here inside the giant ant tunnel. Because that makes sense. Here we are, right here. See, look at that, a door that requires a key. Access to the Halls of Wretched Pox. That's a friendly looking door. What? Knockers. Okay. I do have to appreciate that the game does try new things. 
it it's doing things that are different than the shareware as well as you know than the first catacomb 3d and i appreciate this i do like the fact that it's making an effort to be something different or to at least give you something different And whether or not I like what it gives me is kind of... Well, I mean, that is relevant, but... They're trying. I can appreciate trying. Like, here we have enemies that are actually shooting back at me. Why do those explode? Nah, you're too late to that joke. Xanth made it yesterday. Xanth already called them pink eye. You gotta come up with something new, Sismith. Sorry. Oh no, don't blow up the freaking treasure chest, you idiot! You need those! Hangover Eye? You're gonna go with Hangover Eye. No, well, they do kind of flop around a bit, so... Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll accept that one. I did put you on the spot. You at least offered something. So I'm okay with that. I also would have accepted the I Spy. Evil Eye, there you go, there you go, now you got one. I love how these things go all wide eye, start shaking when they explode. That amuses me more than it should. They leave behind very annoying corpses. Yeah, the eyes have it. Okay. These puns are getting terrible.
Man, these games are getting longer, too. I mean, we're 90 minutes into this one. I'm hoping we're near the end, but there's no sign of it yet. Although it could be. I mean, this this could be one of the last levels, for all I know. Get back here! What did you... Get back here! Don't you run away from me! Rude! Okay, somehow, somewhere, there's gonna be a door that needs a key. Oh, are you the door that needs a key? No. You're the way out. You're, you were the way in. So, there we go. Look, a door! I found a door, people! And behind it is another door, as I figured there would be. Layer of the Succubus. Ooh, this one I can't wait to see. They have the r a rare case of gold in eye. Boo. <laughs> I mean, this game is not good. I'm going to say that up front. Given the competition it had at the time, which is to say, basically nothing. Eh? So there's the succubus. Come on, get back where I can see you. Oh, she fires little hearts at you. It's adorable. Look at, look at, she fires hearts at you. Alrighty. Man, these guys again. You know, for a second, when I was turning, that blood stain on the wall almost looked like a kiss mark. And I was like, oh, that is awesome, but it's not. It's just blood. Now, you see, the layer of the succubus, I, I would think that they would have, like, whips and chains hanging from the walls. You know, that these creatures would definitely subscribe to the philosophy of sticks and stones can break my bones, but whips and chains excite me. But nah, just rocks. Just rocks. Which, I guess, you know... If they take them off the wall, are they getting their rocks off? Passages of the Chaste Succubus? It's a bit of a contradiction there. <gasps> health. Health is good. And a red key. Where did you go? Oh, you're outside. There you are. So I can appreciate the amount of work that did go into this game, at least on the art side. And I've had I've had issues with some of the maps. But some of the maps have been pretty good as well. I'm like the ant map was good. I liked that. That was creative, it was fun. Need a yellow key. I'm all for things like that. And they are 
they're definitely trying out new things with this engine. Trying to see what they can do with it. And I always love seeing that. Like here, we've got this like mine tunnel going on. They've had, they have put the blocks in that just have those entrances, so it makes it look like you're going through a mine tunnel with the wood propping it up. I like that a lot. It looks good. We've got some new enemy types. More than just the melee, there's stuff that actually comes out and attacks you now. You know, you have enemies here that have ranged attacks. And while I don't like the uh, enemies that have the graphics where they need to wake up, like the freaking Gorgons, Medusas, Meroliths, whatever you want to call those things, had. Was not a fan of that. At least they were trying something new. The rabbits, though! Rabbits were cool. Where did, did you seriously run off through this tunnel? Why? So I could have completely skipped that one and not had anything happen. Although I would have missed some health potions, so I'm glad I didn't. Are they doing different things with the enemy's death animations as well? I wasn't a huge fan of the way the trees were implemented, but it was new. I had not seen anything like that before. I need a red key. Those things must be the pox. So the first time you see them is down in the ant colony, so what the heck. Yellow key, I know where that door is, kind of, it's way out of my way. That, I don't like. You're using the keys to make me run back and forth on the level. Yeah, I hit that one way too early, but whatever. See, now I have to run all the way back and try to find my way back to the other side of the level to use this key. That I don't like. I don't like... It's okay to make me have to go off part of the level and get a key, but making me completely retrace pretty much the entire thing? No, no. What a surprise. Succubus is inside. Succubi? Man, you get a lot of health from these things in this this place is giving lots of health. I like that. Did I kill you? I guess I did. So There's gonna be a red key in here somewhere. There has to be. Yep, there it is. The hidden chamber of lust. And not a single vibrating bed to be found. And run back through here. Because back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Don't like that. Chamber of the Evil Eye. So these things are Evil Eye. Gotcha. Oh, we got something new going on here. We 
We got volcano pits. No idea why, but we have volcano pits on the ground now, too. Whoa! Okay, extra gems. But I have the gems, so what's the point? It's a whole room full of gems, as if... Oh, hey, if you missed them, they're all right here. What, is, what does that mean? Why are they here? What is the point of them? Like, literally, all of the gems are in this room. So... Why even bother? Why have ooh, ooh that's oh there there's Nemesis we found Nemesis Okay, now I'm just going to look for a door to get out. need a yellow key. He gave me a red key, though. Clone chamber! Great! We're going to have to kill several nemesis. Yeah, there's one behind me attacking me, too. No, there's a yellow key. I still do not see what the point of these five gems are, especially if you're just going to give us all of them in one map. Why have them hidden before? What do they do? What is their point? What is their purpose? Oh, crap, that hurt. I was keeping an eye on that. I wasn't expecting to do... 40 freaking damage to me! Yeah, we're gonna fight a lot of Nemesis. And it's not gonna be very fun. Yeah, just checking all the rest of these secret rooms before I go into that clone chamber again. And that's why, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need more keys. Alrighty. So I've got a red key, two yellow keys, and the green key is behind the other door. All right. Is there another door on this side? There is.
That thing hurts. Hidden treasure room. This is not a very hidden room. Well, I guess it kind of was. I was expecting more nemesis on this side. Alright, so this room was basically a waste of time. Crap, there's a nemesis behind it and a green key over there. No. No, no, nemesis, go away. Nemesis, I will deal with you later. Right now, I want to deal with the eyes so that I don't have these guys attacking me from behind while I'm dealing with nemesis. Oops! I hit the heel twice instead of that. Okay, red key and a green key. Hopefully I'm getting near the end. Again. Access to the Flaming Inferno. Okay. Another level. Please be close to the end. So we have another one that's like the water map. The bottom of the walls are the same color as the floor to make it all kind of blend together. And it is not a bad look. It's kind of annoying, but this really looks like the area is on fire. And considering the engine and the fact that there are only 16 colors they can use, that's pretty impressive. I'll give them that. This definitely has a final level feel to it as well. This is better than the one that had all the freaking... The animations of the secret walls everywhere. That sucked. This I approve of, though. Hey, this is pretty cool. Of course there'd be another one of those around the damn corner. Why wouldn't there be? So you can still see where they're trying new things. And some of these, oh boy. Some of these new things worked. Oh boy, I am in a world of pain right now. Would be nice if holding the button was an auto fire, but it's not. 
it just holds your hand up. It doesn't even charge like it did in Catacomb and Catacomb 3D. No, you don't get a charge in Catacomb Adventure here, so... It just holds your hand out without fireballs coming out. It's kind of bad. And I will remember to save once this thing's dead. Oh no, I got more things attacking. Of course I do. This is going to be a very long and frustrating level by the looks of it. We all haven't fun yet. With these freaking bullet sponge enemies. Again, not entirely dangerous, just very, very time-consuming. It is difficult to see what the heck you're trying to do with everything looking like fire. So I'm not sure where to go, because everything is on fire. Oh, hi there. See, so just walk a little bit backwards and shoot. Not dangerous, just annoying. There, there, there will be something on this map at some point, right? Other than all of the fire ever. Okay, there we go. I need a blue key. Because in the middle of all of this fire... There's a door that needs a key. Ah, I certainly hope we're close to the end soon. Not that I mind that the games that you pay for would actually be longer than the one you got for free. And I don't have anywhere to go today, so... I'm hoping this game doesn't like let go for four hours or anything. Hey, look, a blue key. That that took a long time to find. I don't know how I managed it. Okay, let's get out of here. We are now in a subterranean river. Could it be the river Styx? And you'll note that we got the water, which again, like the previous map, the floor is one color, and the bottom of all the textures is the same color. That gives the impression 
that we're walking through water. And if this does like the other game did... Hey, we've got a different enemy this time, too. An enemy that's only available on this map. And if it does like the other game did, if we see a treasure chest, it will also have the graphics that look like it's underwater. Which is one of these wonderful DOS workarounds. You have an engine that is very limited. And so you got to figure out how to make it do things it was never meant to do. How do you make an engine that is completely flat have water? Have the character running hip deep through water? You do it with pure graphics tricks. That's how. Yeah, see? Even the treasure chests look like they're underwater. They're not. They're just special graphics for this level. But it works. It gives the illusion quite nicely. No, oh, you're still there. You know, these enemies actually kind of remind me of the ones in Hexen. Wonder if this is where Hexen got the inspiration. Would be a nice little nod. Stagnant backwater. All right, what, what color do I need? Red. Yeah, this game is it's lasting longer, which is at least you know if you're gonna pay for one. I do still hope it ends fairly soon because I'd like to stop and go play another game today. I have Nep Nep to deal with. Wait, is there something blocking me from getting in there? No. That's what I was trying to do. Oh wow, really? Nothing, just a little loop right here. That was the entirety of the secret. Ho-hum, ho-hum.
Okay, I've said all the creative things I even need to say on this map. Can I go to the next one now? I've commented, commented my appreciation. But I'm kind of done with it. Don't you just love secrets that are full of nothing but enemies? Get back here. Don't you run away. And again, we got AI that actually does things like run away from you. I approve. I don't approve of a secret that is literally just things attacking you. It's like, hey, you found the secret. Now you found the secret inside the secret that's danger, danger, danger. I don't like enemies that make themselves invincible. Come on. Let me kill them and move on. I hope these enemies mean that I am somewhere new. Well, I guess I must be somewhere new. Because I broke the wall and found stuff inside. It's another reason why I try to kill all the enemies to make sure that I'm not repeating myself on the map. It's like, well, if there's, you know, if there's an enemy to kill, that means I haven't been here yet. Now, oh, crap. And this place is a lot of dead ends. At least things that look like dead ends. Well, there's a passage from the Flaming Inferno. So I've made a loop of the level. Yes, there we go. Wait, wait. There's an enemy next to me too, isn't there? Yes, there is. Ah, yeah, yeah! 1%. I was at 1%. Oh, crap. I'm glad I was able to hit the button in time. Save, because it's been a while since I have. I don't want to get down to 1% again. Ooh, that was scary. Alright, now there was a door somewhere, which I'm going to assume needed a red key. Probably needed green, with my luck. I see a door. Yes! Let's get out of here to the backwaters. New level. I'm now in an ice palace. Okay. It's pretty. I've got to hand it to the artists for this game. They've put in a lot of good work with a lot of limited resources. And while this is, yeah, where's the Ice King? Good question. And while, you know, the graphics in this game would be not exactly impressive today. No, I've seriously got to hand it to these guys. They've put in a lot of work. The art team for this game, very good. Very good. You can tell what everything's supposed to be as well. There's not a case where it's just massive blobs of whatever.
All right, so there's that door that I'm sure needed a red key. Yeah, and these they did actually learn from the previous game as well. These enemies don't get stun locked. So they actually are a little bit of a threat still. Not as not, you know, major threat given how much health you can carry around, but they are more of a threat than they were in the previous game. Get back here. Get back here. I'm not going to have you running around behind me. Speaking of, you know, getting behind me, ow. Translucent passages. The thing is, you can move ever so slightly and get out of range of their attack. There's three of them there. It does risk killing me. I love that. You kill these things and you can see their bodies vanishing. Look at that. And then their heads fall to the ground. Yay, more keys. Now, is this game actually longer or is it just taking longer because of these time-wasting elements? That is an important question. Because is it longer, or is it the illusion of length? And then in the end, does it really matter? If you're enjoying the game and it takes a little bit longer, oh darn. I mean, it does matter if you don't enjoy the game, I guess, and... This is not the most enjoyable to me. It's not bad, but if it weren't for the historical aspect, I don't think I would have gone out of my way to look for this game. I really don't. This is not a game that I'm going to revisit one of these days and go, man, I really miss playing that one. No, no. Doom, this is not. Wow. 
and I was just hearing somebody commenting earlier yesterday about how we're basically never going to stop referencing Doom, Quake, and Wolfenstein. And they're absolutely right. We won't. These games are more than just the game. Heck, they're more than even the template that other video games became and used. There's a reason those games are the icons that they are, and that is... Oh, are you kidding me? Do we have invisible walls? We have invisible walls! Well, there's no reason that they can't have invisible walls on a map, but... I was wondering why my shots seem to be ending more quickly than they should have. You get back here, I was shooting somebody. Even better than invisible walls are invisible walls that you have to shoot. That I don't like. Again, the enemy is right on top of me. Oh, really? There we go. So there's that at least. But I saw these two enemies. And a key and a door. That I have to try to find. There we go. Get. Please tell me I can get next to this door here. No more invisible walls. No more invisible walls that you have to shoot, please. Ramparts of Nemesis. We're getting closer. Return to Castle Nemesis. Like I said, they're trying things, they don't always work. As long as this place isn't full of these freaking 
bullet sponges. If it's just like the skeletons, I'm fine with that. That's okay. Skeletons I can deal with. Those stupid demons that take forever to kill? No more of those, please. Just no more. Now it's one key. Fortunately, going smoothly. Don't like that name. Don't like anything involving clone right now. That's why. Where'd he go? That is why I don't want to deal with things involving clones. And I hope that means we have a different boss than Nemesis, or at least than that version of Nemesis. Hopefully the real one has been upgraded somehow, that we can tell the difference between it and all the various clones that are running around. Yes, shoot the treasure chest. Always a good idea. Reza Fragon. Two dookies! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. So we still have that door and that door to go through. Gate room to the defended treasure. I like treasure. I don't like defended, but I like treasure. Did I just go in and out of the same portal? Treasure approach. Yeah, let's go take a look, see what we got. Gee, I wonder. Frozen time, huh? That's a strange name for it. There would be the guarded treasure. Lots of guards. Lots of treasure. Three keys. Looks like we're getting near the end, hopefully. Cute, even more treasure. So you're just hoping for an actual improved Nemesis boss coming up. So, oh god. Certain termination approach to the clones of Nemesis. Get ready for Pain. Blue key. Green key.
Yes, pass this way. Red key. Chambers of Final Conflict. Here we go. So this should be it. Let's see if we have a different boss this time. What? What? That! There you go! Wait, what? No. Oh, it was just the first conflict. Okay. Treasure room of the first conflict. That makes more sense. Get back here. Quit floating around. So I was gonna say, that was really anticlimactic. Especially since it gave me the dee -dee -dee -dee, you know, the victory fanfare. No, no. Oh, good. Oh, game. You had me going there, game. You had me going, game. See, the game's the game's teasing you now. Uh, 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 now you need to kill two of them. Uh huh. Uh huh. Use the red key. Still have another red key though. Treasure room of the second conflict. So what happened to that f final conflict we were supposed to be looking at, huh? Huh? Is there supposed to be some final conflict going on? Third conflict. Which is just three nemesis now. Ah! I hit the button, just not fast enough. Again, hit the button, just not fast enough. I'm just trying to tank this, basically. A lot of incoming damage. Too much incoming damage. Holy crap, I can't... Yeah, I, I, I couldn't... I, could, I got stuck. So... You know what? Nope, that's it. That's all the fireballs I can do. It won't let me cast any more. So, well, we'll see what happens here when the time disappears. Because remember, you can't actually shoot while time is stopped. Your fireballs are stopped, too. That really didn't help at all. Yeah, see, if you could actually shoot them when the time is stopped, but t stopping time does nothing for you.
Ah! Again, I got stuck. I couldn't move backwards. There we go, one left. Got that one. Did I get a key? Did I get a... Th no, I only got the one key that time. I hope the fourth conflict isn't four of those damn things, because that would be stupid. I saved, I saved. And I'll save it before I dump through the portal again. Wait, you're still alive? Where are you? I swear to God, if this is just four of the Nemesis things of the Nemesis clones, I'm going to be really annoyed. Good. It's not. It's Nemesis and friends. But of course, it's the same freaking Nemesis. They didn't bother updating him. So what's the freaking point? Oh, whoa, whoa, secure! Oh, man, he comes up and just nails you. He does a lot of damage if he gets in melee range. And I'm trying very hard to keep him out of melee range, but the problem with those freaking portals is, you know, I try backing away, I end up going through the damn portal. I don't even know how I died that time. I really don't. I'm stuck in the corner. I was stuck in the freaking corner there and just getting beaten down. There we go. Everything but Nemesis is dead. He does more damage than the clones do, that's for sure. Yeah, he does a lot more damage than his clones do. That's the problem here. He does like 50 per shot. His clones will do 30. Oh crap, I hit one of the time things. Also note the door back there is open, but I'm going to need to kill him to open it further. So he takes more damage than his clones and deals more damage than his clones. A lot more. Thank you. 
I guess that actually worked. Secret access to the surface. So yeah, you did need the extra key again. So they were smart about that. Okay, looks like we're at the final game, or final part of the game again. Let's see if this game tells me about the secrets again. Again, why is it giving me potions and s treasures and such at the end of the game? The game is over. I won. Why are you doing this to me, game? Anything yet? Yeah, just a lot of passage, treasures and such. Why? The game is over. Why are you giving me treasures? And the thing's gonna be on the third game, the pathway to the surface, you get up to the top, it's gonna have something for you to attack. It's gonna have an actual boss for you at the end of the game again. See, this thing isn't even giving me, um... There you go. See, this is the thing that I was, at, was looking for. The world shall know of your courage. Your name will be honored forever. Congratulations, O oh mighty hero. Continue forward to freedom. Final approach to the surface. There it is. Is there the cheat codes anywhere? I don't think this game did. Previous game did. This one's not giving me cheat codes. Nope, no cheat codes. That's fine. And I have all five gems, so let's do this. Sip through to your reward. Death! You have emerged totally victorious over the evil nemesis. There's your reward, everyone. Crotch shot. You press a button, game exits. Just bip, exits. Black screen. There's your reward, everyone. The game is over. Yeah, we're going to do the last one tomorrow. Uh, that was Armageddon, I think. So the last one is going to be Apocalypse, which is supposed to be set in the future. Third part, final part of Catacomb Adventure. I hope it's better than this one. There's a good stuff, but it's not great. It really isn't. Oh, well. Tune in tomorrow, Internet, while we finish off the series. Until then, take care and enjoy the games you play.